Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. It's 2022, Happy New Year. And do we have some great adventures coming up the first part of this year. But before we share what the great big news is, we'll wrap up 2021. Did we ever make it to Texas? And if so, how did we get there? Well, once again, Happy New Year. I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we're Adventures in Nomadness. Uh, we left Nevada, headed all the way down here to the south tippy end of Texas. And we want to share with you where we stopped. And again, stay tuned to the end because we have some exciting news. How did we get all the way down here? Well, from uh, Nevada at Valley of Fire State Park, we headed down to Quartzsite where we caught up with some friends we hadn't seen for a while because of the pandemic and our time in Alaska. We had an awesome Thanksgiving meal with them, did a few mods on the RV out in the desert during the week that we were there, and then we left Quartzsite and headed south towards Texas. All right, stop number one, Hillsbury Wine Company in Wilcox, Arizona, the Harvest Host location, two enthusiastic thumbs up from both of us. And our next stop after that was at, hmm, Van Horn, yeah, Van Horn, Texas. We found two free overnight stops on our way to the very south tippy end of Texas. The first one was at Oki D. Lucas Park, right across from City Hall in Van Horn. So a little noisy because of the train, but free, so thumbs up there. All right, and our second free overnight in Texas was at Schreiner City Park in Junction. Now, Oh my God, I cannot believe this place was free. They allow three free nights uh, for you to stay. It was right on their river. There's a little bit of a dam there. A really gorgeous spot. The trees were all lit up. It was gorgeous. And I would not hesitate to stay there again on our way through Texas. So all that traveling, we finally made it to Mission, Texas, where my dad and stepmom live on December 1st. And what have we been doing here for this whole past month? Plus, a lot. To begin with, we wanted to help put up the Christmas decorations, so we put up decoration lights outside, inside, as well as a little surprise gift to them, which was to decorate their golf cart so that we could cruise around the neighborhood with a lot of other people that live here in their decorated golf carts for parade. Unfortunately, the parade got canceled due to inclement weather. That didn't stop us from cruising around on our own and having a great time. On top of all that, after we did our little catching up and what have you, we got a big surprise from my sister who flew all the way down from Washington State to visit. And while she was here for about a week, we did a whole bunch more. Yeah. This is a great spot and mission to base yourselves out of to do some really cool stuff. If you're into birding, this is a fantastic spot for migratory birds. So we visited the National Butterfly Center and we went to Benson Rio Grande uh, Na uh, State Park, which is right on the river, it's fantastic. Uh, let's see, we crossed the border, went into Mexico and we went to the very, very south tip the end of Texas and went down to South Padre Island. Of course, we've been driveway docking for a, a whole month plus, and this has been an awesome opportunity to be able to do a bunch of work on this. So it's kind of like being in a boat, right? Where you go into dry dock and you do everything you need to do. 
that's exactly what we've done. So we've caught up on a whole bunch of maintenance, cleaning and mods, and we'll have some of those uh, as videos for you in future how-tos. What have we done? Well, because we're up in Alaska, it's not always easy to have easy access to a lot of water. So because we had water, we washed, waxed, took off road grime and tar, cleaned all of the window screens, cleaned the fan screens, did some other cleaning, as well as sanding and repainting the bumper and the step. Because going down the road and a lot of various rocky roads, etc., kicks up rocks and it eventually puts chips in those two items. We've got more of that kind of thing to do, but we're pretty satisfied that we made some progress. What else did we do? Oh boy, the list is long. All right, well, I installed an easy start on the AC unit, uh, installed an accumulator to dampen down the chug, chug, chug of the water pump. Let's see, we did a window mod and I don't know, installed the mount for the vac new vacuum cleaner thing we have. And boy, the list kind of goes on. There's a few other things on there as well. But I'll we did a lot. I'll tell you what, we will have some of these mods in future videos and if you've got these kind of windows you're gonna we want to stay tuned to see that mod all right but the biggest thing we've done is drum roll please <laughs> we've been prepping we've been doing a lot of prepping yeah. for our upcoming and very exciting trip and we're so excited to share that with you breaking news Three months, count them. One, two, three. Two. Three whole months in Mexico. What? Yes. Wow. Not just one place, but a lot of different places between Mission, Texas, where we are right now, all the way down to the Yucatan and back out. Where do we exit? Uh, Arizona. Yeah. So it's uh, kind of funny. We just uh, I've kind of followed this company, Caravans in Mexi of Mexico, and they happen to have one spot. I went online and had one spot left that left where? Right here from Mission, Texas on January the 9th, which is my birthday next week. So that's super exciting. Uh, there's going to be some interesting things of, with this trip for us. Number one, we have never traveled in a group, especially for three months. Uh, so that'll be an interesting experience for us. Uh, and then, hey, we have no problems. We think Mexico is going to be completely safe, but it's been interesting to hear, especially your dad, neighbors, be like, oh, are you sure you want to go to Mexico? It's not safe. But we're here to prove to you that it is. And we're going to spend three months down there proving that it's a safe and awesome place to go visit in your RV. We will have a ton of videos. So our next video, that's not a how-to. Our next vlog will be kind of prepping for Mexico because there was a lot of stuff we had to do. And then we, we're not sure how often we'll be able to put vlogs out. Our Wi-Fi may be kind of uh, spotty down there. It looks like our Verizon service will, will work probably most of the time, but for uploading videos, that could be a challenge. So we're gonna get the videos out to you as soon as we can. Just know that they might start getting a little bit behind as we get towards the trip, but we're gonna try and keep yeah. you as up to date as we possibly can when we can. So as you know, if you've been following our channel, we usually put our vlog videos out on Sundays. Now we took December off. We're back at it again. So, but because of what just Angie just said, you're going to want to make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we are able to get our uploads there so that you can be one of the first people to see what we're up to. And hit that notification bell because then you'll get notified when we have new videos. All right, we can't wait to bring this to you, so stay tuned for Mexico. Uh, we were here a few years ago and visited Spike, and we didn't remember him being uh, looking the way he does right now. So Spike came here, uh, he was a, a pet that was given up to uh, like a humane society here, and then the Butterfly Center uh, took him and he can live freely outside and interact with people. So Spike looks kind of sad, and we just saw the sign, and last year his enclosure caught on fire, and Spike is literally a burn victim. So we can hear his breathing, I'm like, God, he doesn't sound very good. It's literally because his lungs were damaged in this fire. And he still continues to get veterinary care, and I guess we're gonna do a fake. Well, this is part fake, I'm not sure if this is the fake one yet, but um, he, was he was pretty injured in that fire, ah. and it's, uh, 
still receiving veterinary care. So I guess they're gonna put a, a fake shell on him to help protect his organs. But yeah, <laughs> he's, uh, he's doing good, I guess, but you can tell his breathing is definitely labored from the fire. Poor guy.